What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back up at our Orange County yard. If you saw my last video then you know that this slab that I am standing on was poured for our new highway garage. We are expanding. We have a building right here which is 40 by 60 and we are getting another 40 by 60 out of this this last section here is 20 by 60. This is gonna be for the guys that have all the equipment out in the back of the yard. They work on all of the roadways here. So this slab was about 55 yards of concrete and we poured this on Monday. We hired a company to come in and pour this. They had a pump truck here and everything. And yesterday I was actually here as well. These guys who poured the slab came and saw cut everything you can see they cut it into four sections going this way and then also four sections going that way but this section here they cut right where the wall is going to be so you can pretty much tell where the building is going to be split it will be one building but there will be a wall right down this saw cut and a garage door here for those guys and then a garage door right in the middle here for us we are basically replicating this building right here we're going to have double the amount of space for us and then obviously down on the end those guys have their own shop now as well so this is going to be super nice when it is done the reason i am here is to water this slab i am no concrete professional but i do know a little bit about it and you're supposed to water your slab for probably the first couple weeks after you pour it from what i know it should be watered multiple times a day obviously i can't be here every single day and i can't be here all day so i'm gonna come every single morning i watered it yesterday i'm gonna water it again this morning tomorrow morning i'll be here i'll probably come here for the first couple weeks every day i don't know if i'm gonna throw it in all of my videos so i figured today i will make a video explaining what i'm doing and basically just show you guys what I have to do here. So it's not going to be a crazy video. I do have my hoses right inside the shop. I kept them here because I did this yesterday and I knew I'm going to need it. So let me pull these hoses out. We'll get them connected. We have water over there. That is the water department for the village. They have a hose that I can connect to over there and use it. I just got to run it all the way over here and we'll get this slab watered.
All right, guys, so that is pretty much all I have to do. One thing I noticed when I was watering it, I didn't notice it yesterday, but let's see if we can find it. It's it right here. It's the issue with pouring concrete in the fall. There is an imprint from a leaf there. There was another one down this way somewhere. Uh, don't know where it went. Somewhere over here, there was another small one. But that is kind of the issue with pouring concrete in the fall and not being able to sit here and watch it until it actually hardens. But while I was watering that, I did a quick Google search just to see what the internet says. Obviously, if it's on the internet, it's gotta be true. But some of you guys on here, if you're watching and you do concrete, professionally every day you can either confirm or deny this but basically this is what it says about watering your slab it says water the concrete five to ten times per day for the first week obviously i'm not going to be able to do that it says about three quarters of an inch per day but this can vary by climate and humidity it's kind of hard to tell how much water you're putting on here especially when it's evaporating, it's soaked in, and it's running off the sides. So I really have no clue how much water I did put on there. Uh, don't overwater it. Too much water can cause the concrete to crack. I don't think we're going to have that issue being that I can only come here really once a day. Maybe I can come in the afternoon some days as well. Uh, if it's expected to rain before the first two to four hours, cover the concrete. We don't have to worry about that. Don't water in cold weather. Spraying concrete with water, with water is not recommended in cold weather. So that's pretty much what it says. Like I said, if you do concrete every day, you can either tell me if what the internet says is correct or if it's wrong or if you do it differently and what you found out to work the best. But that is going to wrap it up for this one. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.